Hello and welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'll be giving my own hot take on the latest fanfiction that is called Attack on Titan no M. But before we actually get right into the actual topic, I have an announcement to make. So I would really like to start a new series where I basically talk about my own hot take on specific stuff and upload the video every end of a month. So basically this is a huge inspiration by the one and only the anime man and i'm pretty sure you guys know who this guy is so i don't need to introduce much about him so basically his own monthly series that is called um, monthly otaku collection basically him talking about what he discovered what he learned for the past month and combine it into one video and it is called monthly otaku collection and i think hmm, this is such a great idea so i would like to take the idea and twist it a bit and here we will be starting a new series that is called monthly hot take video i know i did copy the title of the series but yeah i'll be linking mr the anime man channel in the description of this video but i'm pretty sure you guys have already subscribed to him or probably know who this guy is but nevertheless i'll be giving the whole credit of the series to him since i basically know and get the idea from this guy so yeah without further ado let's just start off with the first episode of monthly hot take video with our new fan fiction attack on titan no M. so without further ado let's just go on and get straight into the video. So I will be talking about my main problem with the part 1 of the fanfic and the first thing that I would like to mention is actually Eren's character in the story itself. So my main problem with Eren's character in this fanfiction is actually because of the way they actually express his own goal and feeling like literally we all know that this is the Tadakai Eren, we all know that this is the Chad Eren and his intention to keep moving forward and to achieve freedom. By looking from my own perspective, seems like the writer of this fanfiction is trying too hard to make Eren a such badass character. Obviously this is not wrong since it is his own fanfiction, but obviously this is just my own personal problem I guess. And this is also why people is calling Eren being so edgy and trying to look cool in the part 1 of Attack on Titan Rick and fanfiction. Because of the way they actually express his goal is kind of weird for some people and that is just my main problem of it and if I need to compare between chapter 137 and also attack on Titan or Reku M, if I need to choose which one is better in explanation, I would really prefer the attack on Titan or Reku M uh, um, more than the chapter 137. But in terms of expressing feelings and giving the human type of talk, I really do prefer chapter 137 way more than Attack on Titan no Reku M part 1. But it's all based on your own personal taste. Obviously, this story is not for everyone. And yeah, that is basically it for my whole take. And wow, this is such a long video for me because I have literally recorded this again and again since I have missed pronounce any word and I am kind of tired because I am already in this hot room for literally three hours so I really hope you guys enjoy this month episode of hot take monthly hot take video and uh, thank you very much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoy it subscribe and like and I want to know your own hot take on the part one of attack on Titan or M fan fiction again thank you very much for watching this video the full link to read the Attack on Titan or Requiem will be in the description of this video. Just check it out and see you guys in the next Attack on Titan. I mean, see you guys in the next episode of monthly hot take video. Goodbye.